Yeah, folks, I just noticed the sun's just cracked through. Uh, it's been looking like it's been going to rain. And we had a red morning, which typically means the old saying, uh, shepherd's warning for Australia, I think. Uh, we have that originally coming from Australia. Uh, sorry, folks, I'm talking out of my ass. Anyway, let's just get stuck in with this. Yeah, there's been a problem with this weather, this rain that we've had, this torrential rain. We've been getting a lot of mould in people's houses and it's just been a real problem. So much so that uh, Dampreed and other uh, anti-mould, uh, like moisture, moisture control uh, granules get sold out. And we haven't got any. I was trying to get some more damp rid in preparation for there to be more mould. I had mould in my wardrobe. It was really awful, like in an old suitcase in particular, but it spread to a lot of the clothing. Yeah, enough of that, folks. Boring. Anyway, let's see what we have here. We have here some more wrapping paper, which is the locomotive theme, just for you, it says. And we're interested in this particular piece. But yeah, it's been really, really, really wet weather and and the mould has just become a problem for a lot of people. A lot of houses have it and it's just such a pain in the ass dealing with it. Um, but, you know, you get that unfortunately. With this kind of weather. But i got to keep focusing on this. I can't let this mould problem worry me too much. Uh, I just have to keep concentrating on trying to get my stuff to the 6 o'clock news. Which is incidentally where I got the information on the mould. Anyway, that looks shitty. So I blew that off the page. I couldn't push it up high enough. So I might have to make a, small, a smaller magnification. So... I don't have to go full size here, I don't think. Just one, just enough. Photocopy is making some scanner squeaks. Just squeak, squeak. Yeah, that looks better. Uh, Maybe make it a little bit smaller on the vertical. Uh, or actually, I do like that overall framing of that. Um, but I'm really missing my partner and I really need to get in touch with him and I'm trying to get on the six o'clock news with these unusual um, photocopier demos that I do here, mostly here. As well as going on, occasionally going on tour and going to public places like catching public transport to get there because I don't drive and I don't have a car. So basically yeah i have to use public transport and often that includes trains not this sort of train of course these are like uh for vintage trains uh i'm not a big fan i used to have a thing about trains for when i was a kid a kid but i just lost i never it never took hold my i never had a a lifelong kind of an interest in trains uh, but i did have a when i was six years old so I was about six when I had a bit of a thing for them. So, um, yeah, it was just a temporary thing. You know, kids do go through a lot of phases and I went through this one 
and I used to love the steam locomotives. Uh, but basically, yeah, we had, when I lived in Cairns, we had the Coranda Railway. And I think my dad uh, took me there and I think I really enjoyed, I must have really enjoyed Coranda, even though my dad's an asshole. That was one of the nice things I have to remember about him is going uh, on the Coranda Railway um, with the family when we lived in North Queensland. So, But yeah, it was a steam train that we went on at the Coranda um, Railway. And I, when I went to Cairns, I left Cairns in 1979. And seven years later, I came back there and I think with my, with my mum and my brother, we rode the Coranda Railway then, which was really nice. Nice to get back to the old places that we used to do when we were kids. And this looks really nice. Uh, I think that should be good enough like that. Um, but yeah, Coranda, indeed, was a very nice uh, little journey. I can't remember much of it, folks. But I used to, I remember the station and it had all this lovely greenery and plants and shit. But this was like back in 1986. I haven't been to Cairns since 86 so it's been a long time since i last went there and i'd like to go back there with my partner luigi if we can just get together and find each other we'll go on a nice long holiday away from the cares of the world it'll be really nice just to take a break from life So that's a yellow. Oh, I forgot something. I forgot to switch to mirror image. So I'm just going to put this one aside. And we're going to make a mirror image. I forgot to set it up. I wonder if we're going to do... Yeah, we'll do it that one. So yeah, I just think of Coranda when I think of these old-fashioned locomotives. Um, so trying to line them up. Last but not least, black and magenta. This will be the end of our locomotive piece or this wrapping paper. Okay, well, that's come up looking quite a treat. I think we can now call this demo quits.